Hey guys, it's Ryder here. Loads of Star Wars news is just dropping day by day. Uh, since Force Friday, it's just everything has just been like a big whirlwind of stuff. But uh, there were some cool things that were on the descriptions of the Halloween costumes for Finn and Rey. I want to talk about some of the plot points and details that were actually revealed. Because, you know, you, you really wouldn't think that they would reveal character details and stuff on the Halloween costumes. But they did. So it's like, hmm, we gotta, we, gotta, we gotta figure out what this all means. Really though, today I wanted to talk about the Knights of Ren. I've been getting a lot of emails and people are like, What's the Knights of Ren? Who are the Knights of Ren? I've been hearing all about the Knights of Ren. Kylo Ren, what is all of this? Well, first of all... Mm, you really have to look at the Knights of Ren as another group. Now, in the Star Wars universe, there are multiple groups. You got the Empire, now you have now what is known as the First Order, the New Order, you've got the Resistance, now then you have the re the Rebels, and you know, all of the, the Jedi, the Sith, there's multiple groups. Now you can take the Knights of Ren and kind of add them to that list. Now, specifically in Rey's like kind of character bio thing on the Halloween costume. It, it says that she, you know, she's part of the resistance. She kind of splits from her group, finds herself in a, you know, in a fr new order kind of room where it's surrounded by uh, stormtroopers, whatever. She has a very powerful weapon. She wields it. She's a very bat big bet. You know, she's a badass. Even though she doesn't really look like a badass, she's got a lot of power, or, you know, wh whatever. All of that. Uh, but, here's the big thing. I mean, like, all that's fun and everything, but what I really pulled out of that was the whole Knights of Ren. Now, the Knights of Ren. It, they said that the Knights of Ren were also in that room. Or something like that. And the Knights of Ren all have lightsabers. So that means that somehow, some way... The Knights of Ren were either, you know, are either a split-off group from, you know, the Jedi, or we had a deep origin to Jedi, or the deep origin to Sith. Uh, it's, you know, they're not going to be really calling them Sith anymore. They're, Sith is kind of like an ancient term already. Uh, but, you know, the Jedi, Jedi is never going to go away. But uh, it's, it's like, it's very interesting now. So these Knights of Ren are going to have some sort of origins, you know, previous origins or previous backstories to other, you know, uh, you know, to, to people who used to hold lightsabers. And now they hold lightsabers. So you have to wonder, how did they get the lightsabers? How did they, did they create the lightsabers? Uh, you know, were they given lightsabers? Now, we know that Kylo Ren of the Knights of Ren builds his own lightsaber now it you know he obviously builds that like that that like split cross thing on his lightsaber which uh is very that makes his lightsaber very unique um but i do kind of wonder are all do all of the knights of ren kind of have that uh same that that same like cross thing for the swords and the lightsaber also something to point out if you think about a, a knight, you know, medieval knights, right, from like, you know, with the armor and swords, um, you know, you, you know, when you think of a knight, right, from dragons, whatever, they have, you know, they had swords, and their swords had, you know, when you think of a sword, you think of like a handle, two split things, and then the blade, so it's like, yeah, you know, you guys kind of know what I'm talking about. So, I, what I've kind of made of this is that these are actually going to be maybe some sort of knights, uh, in, in a way. Um, you know, v, you know, quote the V, the, the Knights of Ren. So, huh, if they're knights, you have to think back to Jedi Knights. Now, maybe they, ha they do have some sort of origin to the Jedi, and maybe they come from the Jedi, or they're a branch of the Jedi. Now, Kylo Ren could end up being a rogue, you know, Knight's, uh, Knight of Ren. And he could just take that name, Ren, and kind of make it bad. And that's why maybe he's like a rogue, maybe that's why he's not with the Knights of Ren. That could be possible. Or the Knights of Ren could, I could, could be completely wrong, and the Knights of Ren could actually be bad. Uh, it's very, it, you know, it's complicated because 
We don't know that much about them. I would like to know more because they are very interesting. I do kind of wonder if somehow Kylo Ren's father or brother or, you know, Supreme Leader Snoke, so whatever, the, the Emperor, if they, if they were all sort of part of this Knights of Ren, if this Knights of Ren was a bigger thing than we have all, you know, that we all know. And uh, I, I feel like this is very interesting that they are all going to have lightsabers. Now here's something else. If you think about it, maybe, maybe, you know, we've only, we only know about the Jedi and we only know about the Sith so far. Sith are bad, the dark side, red lightsabers. Uh, Jedi, blue lightsabers, green lightsabers, and the occasion of Mace Windu with a purple lightsaber. And, you know, that's sort of how they've been divided. Now here's something that I don't think a lot of people thought of. What if there was another group that wielded lightsabers. What if there was not, there, there weren't two groups, you know, what if there weren't just the Jedi and the Sith? What if there were the Jedi, Sith, and the Ren? And they called them the Ren. And they were just like these protectors or dark, you know, I, I, I'm not really sure because I don't know that much, but the fact that they are all going to have lightsabers leads me to believe that they are something more than just a group of, you know, dark rebels that got together and built their own lightsabers or, you know, got together and were led by or, you know, adore Darth Vader or adore the Emperor or adore Kylo Ren. You know, we don't, we don't know yet, but I just feel like that's such a weak, that's such a weak kind of origin for uh, something that they're really trying to make big. So I'm not really sure about you guys. What are you guys thinking about the Knights of Ren? Uh, you know, I'm really hoping we get a Star Wars Episode 7 trailer soon. And it's not because I'm eager to see more footage, it's really more that I'm eager to see, to, to know more about the story. I'm really curious about the story, uh, and I think a lot of people are right now, but I'm just, you know, it's like, I, the fact that I have to make videos about, like, alright, who are the Knights of Ren? You know, who's Poe Dameron? Uh, you know, the toys, this, that, it just, it makes me feel like, yeah, I, I just definitely don't know as much as I want to right now. So I think we're going to have to figure that all out very soon. Um, but I, I think they definitely did give enough details. I mean, like I said, uh, you know, the, they were able to, we were able to hear Kylo Ren speak. We were able to hear Captain Phasma speak. We were able to hear Finn speak. And now we got some bios on them. Um, also, something interesting, which I think maybe some people thought about. I really didn't think about this. But the fact is that it, it is confirmed that Finn was a storm was originally a stormtrooper. That is really crazy. Now, when I saw that in the trailer, you know, that Finn uh, as a storm, wearing the stormtrooper suit, I thought he was like being an, an, an imposter, uh, like an imposter uh, stormtrooper, you know. And I thought that he was actually gonna that he was part of the resistance or like rebels or whatever, and he. You know, they, they knocked out a, a couple stormtroopers, they got the suits on, and they went in. That's sort of what I thought. Maybe I was reading too much into it. It seems it is confirmed from that Halloween costume bio thing that Finn was originally a stormtrooper who has a change of heart, whatever. So that's pretty fun. I don't think we've ever seen that happen before. It's like, I think the stormtroopers over time have really become like somewhat, uh, you know, just kind of like underrated, you know, because people just think of them as they're idiots. And the fact is, most of them are. But the, what's interesting is that what they are going to show here is that there's people like Finn, or stormtroopers like Finn, who actually are idiots, who actually are kind of smart. Um, also, this is going to be really fun because if Finn, you know, the stormtrooper, if, you know, when, when he was a stormtrooper, if he was familiar with people like Captain Phasma, or like even friends with Captain Phasma, or, uh, or not friends, but acquaintances, or he was familiar with Kylo Ren, that could definitely help them take them out in the, in, you know, in the rest of, you know, episode 7, or episode 8, or episode 9. My big theory is, is that Captain Phasma will become a, not as much of a villain character, but more of an anti-hero. So she's not going to be good, but she's not going to be evil either. She's not going to side with Kylo Ren in the end. But I can't be sure. I'm very excited to see what happens. I, like I said, I just I think we all need to just know a bit more about this. To you know, I these are just theories. But 
I want to know yours. I want to know your theories. I want to know all of them. So then maybe I can, you know, recraft my theories because that's always the best part when you have when you get to make the story your own. Um, I can't wait for this. Also, something that I've really realized is that I don't think Poe Dameron is going to have as big of a role as we all think. Now he is definitely one of the core new that one of the new core, you know, big three right now. But I still feel like he's not going to fulfill that, that Han Solo kind of feel. That Han Solo, you know, you know, kind of, you know how Han Solo was in episodes four through six. And he was sort of like Luke's wingman, or maybe Luke was his wingman. I'm not sure. I don't know how tight of a relationship Finn and Poe Dameron will have. I think more, it will be more Rey and Finn having a tight relationship. And Poe Dameron may end up being more of like that... That guy, they, they can be like, all right, let's call, let's call down Poe, and then he can bring down like five ships, and it'll be, it'll be like, hop on. That's sort of how I feel like he's gonna appear in the sh in the movie. But uh, you know, only time will tell. I'm very excited, like I said. But uh, I want to know your theories, um, and I don't know. I I don't know if it's just the Force Friday, or I don't know if it's all the news. But I have never been more hyped for Star Wars Episode Seven right now. So. It's gonna be great no matter what, but I feel like it's time to get a new trailer. It just seems like it needs to happen. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please remember to click share, like, subscribe, and like I said, let me know in the comments what you guys are thinking about the Knights of Ren, Poe Dameron, Finn, Rey, Stormtroopers, Kylo Ren, Captain Phasma. I wanna know all of it because, like I said, we're all theory crafting right now. Yeah, so it's gonna be great. I'm Ryder, signing off from Toys with Attitude, and keep riding, guys. Bye.